Price action trading. Helps you to better time your entries and exits. Today, we will explore 5 things to look for before you place a trade. Be sure to like this video so we can keep helping you with future videos. If you watch this entire video, you will become a better trader. After years of trading and experimenting, it turns out there are only 5 things that matter when it comes to price action trading. Do you want to know more? Let's begin. Number 1. Market Structure Market structure can be broken down into four stages. Accumulation stage Advancing stage Distribution stage Declining stage Let me explain. Accumulation stage the accumulation stage looks like a range market, in a downtrend. So, if you're bearish in an accumulation stage, then you can look for selling opportunities at resistance. Or if you're bullish, then you can look for buying opportunities at support or when the price breaks above resistance. Advancing stage. The advancing stage is an uptrend, with a series of higher highs and lows. At this stage, most traders can recognize the trend and are looking for buying opportunities. Distribution stage. The distribution stage looks like a range market, in an uptrend. However, if the price breaks below the lows of the range, that's when we enter the last stage. Declining stage. The declining stage is a downtrend, with a series of lower highs and lows. At this stage, most traders can recognize the trend and are looking for selling opportunities. Eventually, it starts to show signs of strength and that's when we move back to stage 1, the accumulation stage. Number 2, area of value. So now the question is, where do you buy and sell? An area of value refers to an area on your chart where potential buying, selling pressure could step in. Let me explain. Support and resistance. Support. An area of value as potential buying pressure could step in and push the price higher. Resistance. An area of value where potential selling pressure could step in and push the price lower. Moving average. Moving average is an indicator that averages the historical prices on the chart. And in a trending market, the price might respect the moving average as it finds potential buying or selling pressure, which acts as an area of value. Number 3. Entry Trigger. When do you enter a trade? Well, that's the purpose of an entry trigger, to tell you when exactly to enter a trade. So here are two techniques you can use. Break of Structure. The break of structure is a reversal price action pattern which allows you to enter the start of a new trend, with low risk. An uptrend approaching resistance which can be seen on the higher time frame. You want the resistance area to attract attention from the sellers on the higher time frame. The price fails to make a higher high but instead, made a lower high. This gives us a reference point to set our stop loss, go short on the break of swing low or support. False break. The false break is a reversal price action pattern which allows you to buy low and sell high. Look for a strong bullish momentum into resistance, the bigger the candles, the better, let the price take out the extreme highs of resistance, so that more traders will buy the breakout. Wait for the false break pattern where the price makes a sudden reversal and closes below resistance. Go short on the next candles open. Number 4. Stop Loss. We've covered your trading setup which includes market structure, area of value, and entry trigger. So now the question is. Where do you put your stop loss? Here's how to do it. Identify the lowest low at support, to identify the current ATR value, you take the lowest price point of support and subtract by the current ATR value. That's your stop loss. Here's a moving average example. If you buy near a moving average, expecting buying pressure to step in, then your stop loss should be below the moving average. Because if the price breaks below it, it means the moving average is no longer respected and your trading setup is invalidated. Number 5. Higher time frame market structure. Low volatility on the higher time frame. The market moves in volatility cycle, from a low period of volatility to high volatility, and vice versa. So, what do you do? Hold your trade with the hopes that if volatility expands, it does so in your favor. 
exit your trade at the nearest swing high as the market might reverse against you? I don't know. For me, I'd hold my trade because there's a huge profit potential if volatility expands in my favor. As you can see, there's a false break set up on the 4 hour time frame, after which, the price moved in your favor. So here's what you've learned. Market structure tells you what to do. Area of value helps you determine where to buy or sell. Entry trigger tells you when exactly to buy or sell using a specific price pattern. Your stop loss should be at a level where if reached will invalidate your trading setup. The higher time frame trend helps you decide whether to capture a swing or ride a trend. Look to capture a swing if you're against it, and ride a trend if you're with it. If the higher time frame is in a low volatility environment, then hold a portion of your position as you could catch a big move if volatility expands in your favor. What are some of the things you look for as a price action trader? Leave a comment below and share your thoughts with me.